Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Samantha here. And in this quick little video, I just wanted to give you guys um, a couple of little Dollar Tree hacks and share with you guys a couple of things. And so the first thing that I will share with you guys, let me get some of this stuff out of the way, is I actually found these really pretty candle holders at the Dollar Tree a couple weeks ago. Whoops, let me just take all this stuff out of here. So I went ahead and picked up two of these. They are absolutely beautiful. Um, it's silver and then it kind of has an ombre effect from light pink to the dark pink. And it is texturized and that's what the inside looks like. And to me it kind of reminds me of the mercury glass, I think is the right word for it. Um, anyways, I thought that these were super cute. And as you could see just a second ago, instead of using it for a candle holder, I am just using my little craft tools in here as a holder. And so not only is it functional for storage, but it's also super cute and it's got the pink in it that I really like. And then the second one that I purchased actually holds my, um, my ink pens and my pencils and things like that. So that is the first little hack. And then this cute little guy, I actually just found him a couple days ago and I absolutely love him. It's this cute little llama and I believe the purpose of these are actually a ring and a jewelry holder. But I thought that this would be perfect for holding my little rolls of foam tape. I buy my big rolls of foam tape from the Dollar Tree. And I do have a storage container where I keep all of my glue dots and my uh, foam tapes and all of that. But since this foam tape roll is used and it was kind of getting all over the place in with my other stuff because I didn't keep the packaging... I thought that how perfect is this to just hold on to that loose roll of tape. And then also this is just a little uh, bit of two-sided tape that I've been using. And as you can see, it's very, very little left on this roll. So I just put it on top. So I thought that that was a fun and a cute idea. And that can be handy when you're working on your projects. And then the next thing I'm going to share, um, I'm sure you guys have seen these little tiny embellishment box that people are using. And I actually was inspired by Buzzing with V. Um, I had already knew about the embellishment box that is this size, which I'll go over in a second. But I never thought to use these. Now, in Buzzing with V's video, the box that she used actually only had three compartments in it, and it held um, these really long nails. Well, my Dollar Tree and then an, another Dollar Tree I went to did not have those, but they did have this one, which right now it's holding um, drywall anchors and screws, and there are actually five little compartments in this one. So if you guys were wondering, you know, what kind of small embellishment boxes that you might be seeing, this is probably it. Um, like I said, you may be seeing the ones, though, that only have three compartments, whereas this one has five. And then keeping on the theme of the embellishment box, um, I'm sure you guys have seen tons and tons of these. And I just wanted to share that this is what these look like. And there are one, let's see, two, four, six, eight... 10 of the small little compartments and then you have one long one here and I actually tore the um the uh the tape off of the front of this that tells you what it's it, what it is but I think it's called like hardware storage and so these are what is most commonly used in embellishment box that's what those look like and then the next little thing is this organizer with the lid and I, sh I think I shared this in a, one of my Dollar Tree haul videos. And so it's just three compartments. It's clear and it's really sturdy plastic. And so what I have done with mine, since I do not have a large collection of washi tape at this time, I've just used mine for washi tape storage. Super cute. Of course, if you are a huge washi tape fan and you have, you know, tons and tons of washi tape, this probably would not be feasible after a while, but for me, it works perfect for right now. 
And I have been gifted more washi tape um, in some of my uh, challenge entries. And But what I plan to do is just fill another one of these up just because I like the way that it looks. And once I get this one full, I'm just going to stock or stack them on top of each other. And that way, you know, like I said, it's not only functional things, but they're cute as displays for decoration as well. So anyways, I just wanted to come on and give you guys those little Dollar Tree hacks. And I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and I will talk to you guys later.